The Bauer Group is the world leader in the development and manufacture of specialist foundation engineering equipment and implementing complex excavation pits, foundations and vertical seals. We are proud to be a leading force in the exploration, mining and safeguarding of valuable natural resources. In the past year, the group passed 10,000 employees across 70 countries, with nearly 1.5 billion euros in revenue. The Bauer Group of Companies is uh, situated in southern Germany with its headquarters in Bavaria, but it has uh, uh, about 150 subsidiaries all over the world. The Bauer Group is organized in three segments. One, the construction segment, where we do complex uh, foundation jobs um, uh, with excavation pits and uh, uh, deep foundations of uh, high-rise buildings and uh, dam uh, rehabilitation work. Then there's a second segment, the equipment segment, se selling foundation equipment. The third segment is um, the resources segment where we produce uh, material for uh, water wells and water supply, where, where we do environmental engineering, where we uh, do mining and deep drilling works. Bauer has always been a business with a long-standing family tradition from our founding in 1790. Thomas Bauer, our CEO, is the seventh generation of the family to run the company. Our traditional core business in foundation engineering has today expanded to encompass construction, development and resources. Our business is uh, unique in a way that we manufacture our own equipment for our own construction work, which makes us extremely flexible and we can uh, react to different market conditions uh, in a very quick way. The ambitious infrastructure projects of the modern era demand ever more complex foundation solutions. Underwater construction is one of the most challenging engineering environments. Our long-standing experience and broad base of expertise is ready to meet the challenge and provide for a growing customer base in offshore wind and tidal power. Uh, the really new and innovative idea was to place the drilling equipment on the seabed and therefore we did not need a stable platform uh, but we could use uh, any type of uh, offshore construction vessel or barge. Uh, the only condition was that the vessel or barge stays on location in this high current. Uh, and this is generally done with a sophisticated dynamic posi positioning system. And we need strong uh, propulsion systems to hold the vessel in place. Um, we are promoting a monopile foundation system because this is the easiest to install uh, as compared to uh, tripod installation or even uh, gravity footings um, and this is the most economical system. With strong currents and working at 60 meter depths all equipment has to withstand immense stress. Bauer has developed a new approach to subsea foundations deployed for the first time in 2012 to create the foundation for a hydro turbine off the Scottish coast. The last 10 years has seen a steady shift away from total reliance on fossil fuels towards renewable energy, and in particular marine renewable energy. Probably the greatest challenges are that we are currently closing a number of nuclear, oil and gas fired power stations. Somehow we have to replace this power and we have to do it quickly. These challenges are changing uh, in that Scotland alone has a target of 50% of renewable energy generation by 2015. We need to work as fast as we possibly can to meet that challenge. Well, we achieve this by attracting investors to projects that have an attractive risk-reward balance. The industry is crying out for fresh investment, but it needs the certainty of having projects come through the planning system. The level of government investment is always a question. 
Uh, let me try and answer it this way. Bauer, along with other key organisations, are investing massively in bringing forward new engineering solutions that will guarantee that the tidal industry is competitive. We don't have all the answers. In order to create a sense of scale for the industry, we have to have access to specialist shipping. Vessels that have the capability of operating safely and economically in the aggressive tidal locations that we operate in. The good news is that, to some extent, government has recognised this. There are funds in place for bringing forward the design of vessels that we hope will fill the gap in the market. The difficulty here is bridging the gap between designing a ship and actually having the confidence to go and construct it. The only way that industry will have that confidence is if it sees a constant flow of new projects through the consenting system. This is a difficult and challenging subject, but if I was to choose one common thread where we weave it through every tidal project that is currently under consideration, it would be the subject of connection to the mainland grid. The simple matter is that we are having to construct projects in places where there is not an abundance of capacity for connection to the grid. Well, energy is a very clean energy. It has no impact on the environment. Uh, it cannot be seen. It makes no noise. And what is especially valuable for the industry, it is always available. It is, uh, you can plan for it and you can count what uh, what uh, quantity of energy you will be producing uh, in the next 10 or 20 years. Um, the only challenge is the construction, the construction in the high tidal currents. And if we have overcome that hurdle, um, I am sure that we will get a lot of activity in building tidal energy arrays. Our technique uses a steel monopile installed by rock drilling, then fixed with high strength mortar. This process allows for the installation of generators faster and more efficiently than ever before. Our seabed drilling equipment has been designed for the biggest current which can occur on a special site um, and they are flexible in depth so if the uh, if the site has a 40 meter water depth, it works. If it has 60 meter water depth, it, it works as well. And the currents are uh, manageable with the equipment sitting on the seabed. For the operation, we are first setting up our equipment on the pier in the mobilization port. Um, and then uh, we transfer all our equipment on the vessel do the sea fastening, which means uh, you have to weld it onto the vessel deck in order that it's secure. And then we, we go out to the site. Usually we have about uh, 20 or 30 of our people on the vessel. And uh, there are about 15 people of the crew of the vessel involved. So overall it's about 50 people uh, being on on the vessel for this installation. Bauer brings engineering excellence to every corner of the globe, working on some of the largest and most audacious construction projects ever attempted. In the future, Bauer Renewables wants to be the prime uh, supplier for foundations for tidal industry. Uh, and we also want to be uh, busy in drilling, uh, uh, drilling foundations for offshore wind and we also want to be active in the offshore wind uh, market where we can provide solutions for drilled foundations, uh, for jackets uh, in difficult ground conditions and in very deep waters. Bauer achieves the unthinkable.